What's going on, all you minties? Uncanny Omar here from Nearman Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And join me today for the Fables 20th Anniversary Complete Box Set from DC Comics. So, join me. And welcome back, everybody. So what we're looking at here is the Fables 20th Anniversary Box Set. This is the one that came out in early March. It was supposed to be due out sometime in October of November of last year. But as you all know, delays keep happening with just about every publisher, not just DC Comics. And I'm just showcasing what the artwork looks like. And it is a connecting piece of artwork showing the different characters from inside of the book. It's a new piece by the serious artist Mark Buckingham. And this is the same connecting piece of artwork that can be found on the compendiums, the four compendiums that came out within 2020 and 2021. And that's exactly what's in this box set. So I'm going to crack this open. I haven't done an overview of the Fables compendiums, but I have done an overview of different compendiums on the channel if you want to go and check those out. But I'll be looking at each one of these and then talking about the build of the books. Uh, because there was a rumor, well, not a rumor, it was solicited that this was going to be an absolute. That we we're going to get an absolute Fables. That was, oh my goodness, back in 2019, I believe, when that was supposed to be coming out. Maybe 2018. Then it got canceled, and then there was talks, when I was at least talking to my contact at DC, that they were going to make them into an omnibus. And sadly, that project got canned, and we ended up with four compendiums collecting the entire series of Fables. So that's what we're going to be looking at today, but... Here is an idea of what the box set looks like with all of the connecting pieces. But let's get it off of the Lazy Susan, as some people call it, my wife primarily, and take a closer look at this. So there's really no decorations, no kind of pattern here on the top box. On the bottom of the box is just your ISBN with a retail price of $240. Fables the Complete Series, Bill Wellingham and Mark Buckingham right there. Printed and bound in the USA. Now we're going to crack this open to take a closer look. It does have some padding up there. But just um, taking a closer look at the lid. Doesn't really close tight. This could be just my copy, by the way. And it's interesting that they decided to go with this pattern because these are soft covers. So if you take out, for example, volume one and you want to read it, and I'll be doing an overview of all four of these here in a second, these books are going to slide in here. Now, of course, this might just be me and thinking, oh, well, that's going to cause some issues. Uh, so you might want to put some kind of placeholder there. I'm honestly surprised they didn't give you an image so you can store the books on your shelf like this. Still in a box set, but at least like this. Instead, they have to be stored like a treasure chest. Kind of reminds me of the Legend of Zelda box set by Viz that had the little do-do-do-do. Well, I'll just play the sound bite there. Uh, that, that's pretty cool. Um, but yes, these are compendiums. I'll be taking a closer look at each one of these here in a second. And one thing I noticed, at least on my copy of the box set, right here with volume four, is this crease that it already has. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. And that, I haven't even cracked these open. I haven't opened a single page because there's no way to properly open a compendium. These are soft covers with glued binding, meaning that there's no eye. There's nothing to stretch. I better be careful when talking about this book. This is the final book. But there's a little bit of a crease right there. And that's what I always worried about when books um, like this and soft cover start getting creases in there because of how many times you've read them. Uh, but we'll be talking about each one of these here in a second and then looking at the build a little closer. Here is the inside of the box. And a huge shout out right now to JP and the folks at Organic Price Books for sending us a copy of this box set. So no pattern or no pictures in here. It's just a cardboard box. Sturdy and it does the job. Let's see if it closes. Yeah, it closes a little bit tighter there when the books are out. And to kind of give you an idea of... What all of that collects, it collects all 150 issues of Fables, plus some other issues like the crossovers, 1001 Nights, and I'll be going over the content here in a little bit. But just to kind of give you an idea, these are deluxe editions, so they're oversized. So all of this is collected in these four compendiums. 
and these compendiums are standard size, meaning they're the trim size of a trade paperback. And these are the trim size of a comic book, a floppy, a single issue. But yes, believe it or not, all of this is in here. Now, we're going to crack open volume one and talk a little bit about the story, show off the artwork, and not go into heavy spoilers, just kind of give you the pitch of what Fables is. And then as I talk about each one, we'll be looking at the build of them. Volume one. So here is what kicks off this series. And as I mentioned, uh, these are soft covers. I haven't had a chance to open them up, but I've read this series a couple of times, at least two times. Maybe I reread it when my wife, the Astonishing Melanie, read these. And these are the exact same copies that you get if you buy them individually. Each one, $59.99. So I guess, uh, to put it mathematically, for four more cents, American cents at that, uh, for retail, you get the box for $240. Uh, $240. So that's four more pennies. I don't know if that's a deal or not for people, but just in case, if you're wondering about getting these, maybe it might be cheaper to buy them all in one and get the box set, whether you keep them in the box or not. So, Fables. This was a series created by Bill Willingham, and it was published originally at Vertigo Comics. And now, oh my goodness, I think that series started all the way back in 2002. It was when I was coming back to comics. Now, the series focuses on these characters that call themselves the Fables. And they all live in a part of New York City called Fable Town. Somehow, they were thrown and kicked out of their homelands. And their homelands was, well, it was conquered by this mysterious enemy known as the Adversary. So now they're living in modern day New York in a little part of town called Fable Town. And in here, they have their own sheriff, they have their own legal representatives, and Bigby, the wolf, he's the sheriff. Uh, you have Snow White, she's the mayor of Fable Town. Uh, her sister's here, Rose Red. There's also uh, Boy Blue. There's Prince Charming, the Frog Prince. I love that character so much. And then they also have a farm. So a farm is also where some of the Fables decided to go. And that's kind of what kicks this series off, is that there is a murder that took place. That somebody has done something to one of the Fables, and it's up to Bigby to investigate what's going on. So this first book right here has 1184 pages. Let me give you a little bit of what it looks like uh, through here. So you have this artwork in here, mainly by, by the way, Mark Buckingham, um, doing most of the artwork in here, but it does kick, uh, kick off with Lan Medina doing some of the artwork. But you can tell when Buckingham takes over the book. Now, the one character I really didn't talk about was <laughs> Jack. I love that character. Even though he gets on my nerves, his own comic book became really funny. At times, at times. I can see why some people were annoyed with that character. But the first volume here collects Fables 1 through 41 and The Last Castle as well as the Fables 1001 Nights of Snowfall. And there's also a short story in here from Fables Legends in Exile. And this is what the artwork looks like. One of the things that Buckingham starts to do is framing these pieces of uh, artwork. Oh, I love his artwork so much. And he, out of the 150 issues, he draws about 110 of them. So murder mystery... It's got some adult content in here, so you know, to me, this has always been kind of a T-plus type of book. And the first book here has 1,184 pages. Now, at least with the first book, this is my first time looking at this, absolutely no extras. All the way in the back is just ads for other Vertigo titles, which I find interesting because it's DC Vertigo everywhere. But they don't have a Vertigo line anymore. Now it's known as the Black Label line, so I'm... Wondering if that's an old ad that they just put in here. Let's go ahead and move on to Volume 2. Here we have Volume 2. And as I said, this is a connecting piece. So when you put them together, it kind of makes that image that you see on the box, except it's a little bit bigger on the box. So Volume 2 collects issues 42 to 82. This one is a little bit smaller than the first book. It's 1,084 pages. Again, Mark Buckingham now. 
kicking it off. But you, like I said, you also have the artwork in here of Lan Medina, P. Craig Russell, Mike Alred, uh, Linda Medley, Craig Hamilton, and Brian Talbot, just to name a few of the artists that worked on this book. And then, of course, Bill Wellingham writing everything. There was a prose book as well that they turned into a one-shot graphic novel that happens later on. Hey, Mike Alred right there, speaking of. So let's just keep flipping through here. And we're going to go and see if there's anything here in the back. As far as this volume, volume two, we do have a couple of little things. We have the Fable Town. This is where all the characters live where you're going to find some of the businesses in Fable Town, the farm, and then some pinup artwork in here. Eric Powell, Waylon Smith, and Kevin Nolan. Oh, Kyle Baker right there, Eric Shanoer, and Darwin Cook. And then some more ads here for DC Vertigo books. So, again, this one has 1,084 pages. Also retailing for $59.99 despite it being about a hundred or so pages less than the first book. And here we have volume three, and I'll put all the books together so you can see what the connecting spine looks like in case you want to go that route. Now we're moving into Fast Issue 100, and this collects issues 83 to 113. It also collects Jack of Fables 33 to 35, The Literals 1 through 3, and Fables, what, uh, what is that? Werewolves of the Heartland one-shot. Now, it has the Jack of Fables in here and the literals because it's a big crossover. And I can't really go into detail as to what that crossover is because, well, that would be spoiling a big part of the book. Uh, but again, you have most of the artwork in here supplied by Mark Buckingham, even though David Lapham is doing the guest art in this particular issue right there. So, most of the Teen Plus content is due to some sexual content in here and... A little bit of violence from time to time and let's look at the back of this one and we'll look at the build this is another one that has no extras there this one here has 1096 pages and again retails for $59.99 8 to 17 plus I said teen plus I mean well I guess it depends on what kind of parent you are all right let's look at the binding so again it is glued binding because it's a soft cover and this is what I was talking about like just my personal worry because of my past experiences with compendiums or books this big, I mean, this one being 1,096 pages, you know, you might get a crease the more you read it. I don't know, depending on how easy or gentle of a reader you are, if that makes sense. But this is the way that it looks when you're laying it over and how the book lays. So you are going to get, of course, some gutter loss. Now, that's because it's glued binding. There's no sewn binding popping those pages up. And you, you've heard me talk about Gutter Curve, I'm sure, on the channel. And even some books that have sewn binding, because of a small eye or because of too much glue that they have, they have some really bad gutter loss. So, honestly, I've seen Omnis that have worse gutter loss than this right here. That's to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. But luckily... Most of the artwork in here are just splash pages. There's really not a lot of spread pages in here. Most of the artwork is just uh, pages like this, or like I said, big splash pages. And I even forgot to talk about the art on the covers. Oh my gosh, the art on the covers are gorgeous. Um, for the first, I think, 100... No, no, 80-something issues. It was 81 issues. James Jean drew the covers. By now, we have... Pao Ruas doing the covers. And let me just show you what some of the James Jean looks like. Just absolutely magical and beautiful. There's something special about his artwork. I do believe that the book with the most expensive cover art that was sold was a James Jean or James Jean please piece. Here, let's look at volume four. And that was from the 1001 Nights of Snowfall book. And here we are at the final compendium. This is Fables Compendium Volume 4. Again, mine came with a crease, so that was not because I've read it. It's just the way I think some of these books come. $59.99 collecting Fables 114 to 150. So rest assured, because I've seen solicitations say that this would go to 149. And I don't think some of those solicitations have been fixed. This does collect all the way to issue 150. As a matter of fact, let's um, this isn't a spoiler. We're just gonna be looking at this cover. It's a really beautiful cover. 
So it's one of these fold-out covers right here, featuring characters from Fable Town. Uh, some of these characters by the end of the book are still alive, some of them not so much. But they give you a guide as to who these characters are in this gatefold. And there are a ton of characters in here. So let's see if there's any extras here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the beginning because this one absolutely has no extras at all. So <laughs> it's the very last page. As a matter of fact, this is the wrap up to issue 150. Now, if you're wondering if this is everything, if that's all you get from Fables, ah, not really. Like a few of the one shots are collected, but you don't have all of Jack of Fables, which have their own line of the Lux hardcovers. Uh, you don't have the Cinderella miniseries. You don't have the Fairest series. Uh, the Unwritten crossover isn't in here. The Unwritten Fables. But I believe that is part of that particular compendium when that comes out. But most of the book, the big chunk of it, is all in here. So let's look. All right, so here they all are. And you can see the connecting spines in case you want to take them out of the box and put them on your shelf like this. And, oh, one thing I forgot to mention was the page count of that fourth compendium. That one only has 928 pages. And most of that is issue 150. 150 was huge. So altogether, what you're getting here for $240 retail price, again, is 4,304 pages of fables. Most of it is the story, of course. Very little extras, particularly just found in volume two or compendium two. Uh, but there are a couple of extras in there. Plus the crossovers, or most of the crossovers, and of course the important thing being the actual story. Now if you've never read this, I will say it took me to volume 3 of the trade paperback, not the compendium or the deluxe editions. So it would be deluxe edition volume 2, or I guess all of this, uh, to really get into this series. I believe my wife, The Astonishing Melanie, was the same way. It's a little bit of a slow burn, but man, when it gets going, it gets going. And there are some beautiful stories that will stay with you in here. If you're a fan of fairy tales and modernization long before uh, that, I can't, Once Upon a Time show, I think. I think there's an actual story behind that, that Bill Willingham pitched it to them. But anyway, that's for another day. Uh, so that's it. That, as they say, is that. If you are interested in purchasing this box set, don't forget to check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content and build of these compendiums in this box set. Let me know in the comments down below if you are picking this up, if you already have the deluxe editions, or you're hoping for an omnibus one day, or an absolute edition, or some kind of oversized hardcover. But any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Everyone, stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. Why did I snap my fingers? If anybody can see that. <laughs>